a roller shutter and let's see if this shutter can be connected to that smart general controller. From the model's menu, we can see that it supports dry contact input and has four control lines. Separately control the switch of the motor, open or close by red line and black line. And the yellow line is common line. And the green line have no effect. Then we look at the wiring diagram of general controller. In fact, the different working modes of general controller are developed according to different types of third-party dry contact devices and the responding dry contact interface documents. So it can cover most dry contact sensors, motors, and switch. So we can see the two-way curtain mode matches. The interface we connect is CH1, CH2 and complex. And each channel belongs to a relay. Let's go to the office and install it first. On the left is the wiring diagram. No loop is formed and the motor is in the default state. Now I click CH1. The motor rotates forward and the curtain closes. Relay 1 is closed to form a loop. When the curtain is closed, and then I click CH2, how will the motor rotate? The motor stops rotating forward and turns to reverse. The curtain opens. That is, only relay 2 is closed, and because of the interlock, only other relays are opened. And when the curtain is opening, then I click CH3. We can see that relay 1 and relay 2 are both closed and the curtain stop rotating. So in fact, the command we issued in the app only represent the action of the responding motors and the action distribution of the three-way relays is controlled by the internal MCU.